of the biggest surprises from this year's award season wasn't Ryan Gosling's performance at the Oscars, but rather the Toyota Prius winning North American Car of the Year. It isn't just a NACTOY award winner, but also Canadian Car of the Year, Motor Trend Car of the Year, was named the Drive's Best Car of 2023, and is one of the cars on Car and Driver's 10 Best list. But we already know the Toyota Prius. A newer and better one just seems like you're giving Best Picture to a re-release of Avatar, right? Well, once we start driving the 2024 Toyota Prius, we get to understand what all the hype is all about. For 20 years, the Prius playbook was essentially the same. This car is dorky looking and kind of slow. So for 2024, Toyota has hired a stylist and taken off the Prius's dorky glasses and the results are pretty head turning in a positive way. Although compared to the outgoing model, I'm not sure that's the most resounding endorsement. You'll see that this car is super wedge shaped with a lower roof line than before as well as a wider track, which gives off a more sportier appeal. And that's echoed throughout the vehicle. I mean, just take a look at the thin looking headlights. It just feels a little bit more sleek and modern. Another thing worth mentioning here are the wheels. You're going to find standard 19 inch wheels on the Prius, which is unthinkable compared to the vehicles from yesteryear. Those used to come with 15 inches at a time. One more thing to note is that all Prius hybrid models come with all wheel drive. However, the plug-in Prius Prime comes with front wheel drive and is a little bit more efficient. The interior space has gone through a pretty significant change as well, although passenger space is about the same as the outgoing model, but cargo space is down, at least compared to the old front wheel drive model. The rear is a tiny bit tight. The headroom is less than what you'd find in a Corolla hatch, but the legroom is a bit better compared to that compact. If you want fuel efficiency as well as space and practicality, maybe a Camry hybrid is in your future or you might spring for a RAV4 hybrid. The materials in here are okay, nothing world beating or anything like that, but one of the big changes for the Prius this year is that they've moved the gauge cluster from the center to right behind the steering wheel. Unthinkable for the past 20 years and here we go. There's new things for the Prius ahead. The old model felt a little bit clumsy with all those screens in the center of the dash, but this new model is perfectly in your sight line. Now with too much information, it can also feel a little cluttered, so it takes some getting used to. In terms of equipment, the Prius is actually really well equipped, which is rare because Toyota is typically kind of stingy with features. This XLE model, which is the entry level this year, comes with a heated steering wheel as well as heated seats and automatic climate control. But if you get the limited model, you're going to get rear heated seats as well as a nice sunroof. An 8 inch infotainment screen is standard on the Prius, although the limited model comes with a 12 inch unit, which is pretty nice. In addition to that, both vehicles offer wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay support. Now you put all this together and you've got an interior that is pretty good, though average for a compact car. Look, is there anything here that's better than what you'd find in a Honda Civic or Mazda 3? Let's take a drive and see what the Prius is all about. Once we start driving the Prius, we start to see where it really shines. Under the hood is a hybrid powertrain that delivers much more power than before. In fact, there's 196 horsepower here, which might not sound like a lot and is maybe more on the average side of things when it comes to a compact car. But compare that to the old Prius, we're talking about an upgrade of over 70 horsepower. As a result, this vehicle can hit highway speeds in around seven seconds, which is actually pretty good. The old model used to do it in about 10 seconds, which felt like forever. If you're not convinced that's quick, well, this thing is actually faster than the Camry Hybrid. That's what all-wheel drive and newer hybrid powertrain will do for you. There is some downsides to driving the Prius though. First of all, the gas engine can spike the RPMs pretty quickly in order for you to get up to speed and visibility is not very good. That lower roof line and these narrow windows really impact how it feels to drive this car. But it does handle fairly good. I was surprised at how well it handles and it feels pretty much on par with the sportier feeling TNGA platform Toyotas. It's not like a Corolla GR or anything like that, but it's fun, like it's responsive. Now a lot of that might have to do with the sportier tires and that lower center of gravity. The Prius also packs all of that safety gear that you'd expect for a new car in 2024. It's got adaptive cruise control, lane keeping, blind font monitoring, all of that stuff, and it works pretty well. There's also an auto park feature on the limited trim levels, 
And there's this interesting kind of automatic braking system that keeps a decent buffer even when you don't have adaptive cruise control on. And the vehicle lights up the cabin's ambient lighting when the car in front of you has taken off and you haven't responded yet, which is a nice little touch. But all of this stuff feels kind of standard for a car in 2024. There's nothing here that's, you know, world beating or top of class, is there? Well, actually, when it comes to fuel efficiency, the Prius still delivers. You can get probably under five liters per hundred kilometers when driving this car around town, whether that's on the highway or in the city. I'm driving it with winter tires, which saps some of the fuel efficiency, but I'm still pretty impressed with 5.5 liters per hundred kilometers. Now that brings up an interesting point because the Prius used to be compromised in order to deliver its excellent fuel efficiency. It's not supposed to be powerful or fast or stylish or fun to drive. It was just supposed to do one thing and that was fuel efficiency. Now it does all of those things in a well-rounded package. So what you're left with is a car that's ultra efficient, has enough power to get out of its own way, enough style to turn heads and is actually pretty good to drive and can turn a couple of corners without flopping all over itself. That actually sounds like a pretty good package, and one that totally rewrites what the Prius nameplate stands for. Now if you want more power and a better carbon footprint, consider the Prius Prime, which features a plug-in hybrid powertrain and even more horsepower at 220. The Prius Prime does cost a little bit more, so the value equation of this car isn't quite there. The Prius offers some pretty good value as well, starting at around $40,000 for the XLE model and going up to $47,000 for the Limited model. Overall, this vehicle has received some pretty big upgrades for 2024, enough for people to realize just how well-rounded it really is. Is that really car of the year worthy? Or is that an indication of just how low the bar was set with the previous model? The reality is this car does so much while also offering incredible fuel efficiency and it does it for a pretty good price. Put all of that together and that's a pretty good car in my books. For Driving.ca, I'm Sammy Hajasad.